Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to do a quick video to share some goodies that I received from Jesse James Beads. Um, these are items they have sent me <clears throat> to um, play around with in the month of June. Um, these items should be available on their website. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I will list these um, links down in the description below if you're interested in checking them out. Um, first of all, let me go ahead and share. Um, I did get from Dress It Up Buttons, who is the sister store of Jesse James Beads, um, a mermaid mix in Sea Witch, which I am absolutely in love with this mix. This is what it comes like in a little um, plastic container. As you can see, by my background here. I love purple and I'm just gonna that's not gonna I'm not gonna fit in that little container. Let me just dump it all out here real fast. And you can see all these gorgeous buttons which I as soon as I saw these buttons I, I had an idea of what I want to try to make with them and it is not going to be jewelry. So um, unless I use something like one of these little buttons um, this gorgeous little sand dollar. I may try to um, turn it into like a fastener. I've never done a button loop on a bracelet. And so I may try that or it has a little hole in there. So it could even be used as little charms or a little charm. There is one of those in here. Um, there's this very glittery and cute starfish and these little um i think they're called nautilus or something like that i'm not an ocean um <laughs> terminologist or whatever you call it i don't really know all the terms of the different creatures um and this right here is very cute just like a little maybe a sand dollar again this is a beautiful glittery shell so there's just a lot of fun buttons and i love these <laughs> these are so cute here they're like little bubbles absolutely love these and they're just very kind of iridescent and absolutely love those little bubbles these cute little buttons here are shaped like flowers and I love this one with the ridges I think that's really cool so there's just a lot of really fun ones and these are like little flat back gems so I can use those in like my card making I'm um, very very gorgeous have like almost like a moon stone look to them um, I love those beads in jewelry making. Um, so let me go ahead and throw all this back into the container because I do have several ideas for using these dress it up buttons. And again, this mix is called um, Sea Witch, which is really, really cool. But it's all this beautiful purple. I was in love when I <laughs> opened up my package. I got a lot of really, I think everything pretty much is in shades of purples. It's just like my my dream, <laughs> my dream um, little mix here. I'll go ahead and share this chain real fast. I love the Jesse James chain reaction. It makes the cutest and the easiest and the quickest little projects. Um, this is the this is called Lavender Love beaded chain, and this very mermaid looking um, with just the different sort of blue green um almost um yeah just it reminds me of like the like peacock collars and stuff as well as like the mermaids of course but um it's just that really beautiful like iridescent um purpley blue love that collar and it looks pretty on that gold as well so there is that beautiful piece of chain reaction that i will do something with um here is a mix. It's a mint. Oh, no, this is the um, Let's Be Mermaids bead mix. That is their new line that's out right now. Their new collection is the Mermaid Collection. And this is in the color Siren. I love that little design there on the front. So cute. So here is everything that's in here. Let me just, well, I keep wanting to use those trays, but it's not going to really show up good. Let me dump all this out. These are absolutely beautiful. Now, I did kind of peek through here and kind of thumb through it just to see what I was, you know, going to have fun to play with. Lots of really cool goodies. Now, these here, I'm not really sure what they're called. I just think they're really neat. 
there's four of these. Um, there's just some kind of shell and let me see here. I think it just has, yeah, it just has one hole that goes right through the center. I don't know if that shows up, but these look like dagger beads a little bit. But like I said, the hole goes right through the center. So I'm excited to see what I'll come up with for that. You always get lots of really pretty bead caps. Like here's this one. And then there are these little tiny ones, itty bitty. There's these gorgeous um, starfish charms that are like enamel and gold. It's a very pretty sort of a grayish blue color. Um, these little painted beads here, ceramic, very gorgeous. Have almost like a um, touch of brown on it, sort of a reddish brown with this blue. Very, very pretty. There's two of those. I love these mermaid tails. These are so cute. There's four of them here. So you could definitely make a pair of earrings and then maybe use one on a little um, dangle charm, like a purse charm <clears throat> or a necklace or something. And then here's these little like moonstone beads. Very, very pretty. Absolutely love them. My, one of my favorite shades of purple there. These are really cool. When I first looked in the container, I thought there was only one of them, but there's two. Those are those like jumbo beads that you use, kind of like the Pandora bracelet style jewelry. And it has purple gemstones and it's so gorgeous. And I love all that silver glittery textured um, layer on the outside. Absolutely love it. Have no idea what I'm gonna do with these yet, but um, it's gonna be fun trying to come up with something. And then there's two of these really gorgeous, vibrant, very dark, almost a plum purple, um, and these large pearls. Absolutely love these. I can see a nice pair of jumbo like earrings with those. And then there are four of these sort of oval um, beads here in a really pretty shade of purple. Those would go good with those pearls. And then there's these two of these little teardrop, they're really fat teardrop beads. Absolutely cute, adorable. I love these. I haven't seen any that is sort of this short, like squatty and fat. <laughs> Super cute. I love the style, the, the shape of those. That's going to be fun. And then there's just all of these other awesome goodies here. There are two of these shell charms. These are a little bit um, kind of weighty. Uh, they're not like super heavy or anything, but they do have a little bit of a little more weight to them than a lot of the charms do But these are really beautiful nice texture to them Sort of painted in between the um, the ridges Love those and then you get two of these Little shell beads or charms. So those are very cute. And I'm not sure what these are. They're like little seed bead loops <laughs> these are really cool and these really pretty iridescent um seed bead mix all this really beautiful purples and blues teals um just love the the shades of color in these little loops i don't know what i would do with that i guess it could be like a a cool little spacer that'd be pretty neat so i have to come up with something fun with that and then there's all these little faceted beads in this really gorgeous sort of a dark dark blue sort of very shimmery I love the way the light hits those those are very beautiful and it's a nice size too and then these little itty bitty I always love these tiny little spacers these little rondelle spacers those are always fun to play with and they usually give you a good amount um, looks like there are six in here. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six of these smaller bead caps and four of these that are a little bit larger. And then there's just this nice mixture of sort of a, a purpley blue faceted bead here. And then these sort of a a, almost like a grayish purple and it's almost these look almost like a matte moonstone because in the light you can almost see a hint of that well it's not even going to pick up on camera 
but you can ju there's just a hint of the um, kind of reflection in the beads. At least I'm catching it here on my end. I don't know if it's showing up in the camera. But these are really cool beads. I just like the um, texture of them too. They have sort of a, um, they're not smooth, like really slick. They just have a different texture, like a feel to them. So those are going to be fun to play with. And that is the Let's Be Mermaids in Siren. And the last mix I have here is a mini mix. And this color is Vibrant Iris. Absolutely beautiful. I always love these mini mixes. They don't have a whole lot of beads, but you get a lot of like really nice beads. There's usually some chunky ones and tassels and really cool connectors like here are sort of these little baby boho beads um like when you get a, a actual just a bead strand from jesse james there's usually one focal bead and it's usually a pretty good size chunky bead and these like are those little kind of a baby size of those chunky beads which i really love and they're not very heavy at all so these would be good for um earrings or you could use them in a a, a necklace which there's one of these here, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. On this side, it's, ooh, check out that purple. That is gorgeous. And then on the back is sort of a, a more clear. And this one is the very beautiful purple. I have, I mean, I could almost use those together in a project, which I might do something like that. And these cute little tassels, adorable, and this really light, nice light purple, almost a lilac color um you get a couple of these more like pinkish purple um, pearl beads which these would be really cute with those tassels and then these gorgeous dark dark purple very nice shade of purple love these and i like the shape of them and they're they're very slick feeling so those are cool and these little blue tassels which all these tassels are coming in handy since i joined in a um tassel tuesday collab well it's an open collab and so i'll have something fun to make and share on the um i think we just did the second tuesday and then the fourth tuesday of the month is the um next one so i'll have something hopefully from this bead mix for that collab and then there are these little plastic, um, I can tell <laughs> plastic, well, cause they're like light as air, but there's a little piece here that needs to be just kind of clipped off. Little straight piece of plastic, but these are really cool. It looks like, kind of like rock, super awesome. And there is, it's hard to see it, but there's a hole that goes right there. You can see it straight through the, the inside that way. So these will be fun. Ooh, these would go good with these tassels here. Very pretty. So that might be a possible project. And then there's these cool connectors that are flower shape. You can just attach your um, either jump rings or you can do like a wire wrap to these open little petals around the sides. Lock, all kinds of possibilities for that. <clears throat> this is a really beautiful flower charm. Oh, that would be nice with these connectors. Just have like that hanging down and have um, these on either side of it. And then have maybe some of these. Oh, these are cute. These little hot pink beads maybe in there. These are really cool too. Those bees there. So just something like that. You could do something fun. And then there's these teeny tiny, oh my gosh, these are actually little faceted, like glass faceted rondelles, but I've never seen anything this small. I don't even know what size that would be. <laughs> I don't know if it would even be a millimeter. <laughs> they are the tiniest little things. How many is in here? But I love the collar. It's so gorgeous. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are eight of these. I don't even have a clue. I guess you could use them as like little stoppers at the um, bottom of a head pin. If you've got a larger hole bead, those work perfect for that. And then there's these beads here that are very sort of iridescent as well. And they are leaves. So that's really cool. Sort of a uh, 
bluish, grayish, purple. There's all kinds of hints of color in these. Really cool. They kind of change color according to how the light hits them and how you look at them. <clears throat> and then you have all these little fun assortment of beads. Um, these really gorgeous, sort of a flatter um, faceted bead here. It's sort of a um, squashed, <laughs> like a squashed faceted bead here. Very pretty shade. Those would go good with these um, beads here and the bluish colored tassels. And then you have all these really nice hot pink um, little oval beads, which are teeny tiny. And then these um, sort of a blackish blue, like very dark. You know, that's even, again, they kind of change color according to which direction you have them and how the light hits them. So there's a lot of really gorgeous beads in this mix. <clears throat> and that is the Vibrant Iris Mini Mix. So that is what I have received for the month of June to play with. And I am looking forward to getting started. Um, I would love to have already started. Uh, but <clears throat> I didn't want to start opening these up and really, you know, tearing them apart and using them until I, I shared with everybody, shared with all you what they look like and how beautiful all of these bead mixes are. And um, again, like I said, I'll have the information down in the description box if you would like to go and check out any of these mixes. And the chain is always so easy. If you're someone that has never done beading or is just kind of getting into it, these make the quickest, easiest <clears throat> necklaces. You take like a bead strand, just leave it the way it is intact. Well, you have to take it apart, of course, but um, you just string it the same order right onto a <clears throat> piece of bead wire. And then you just, you can crimp it onto the end of this chain, onto one of the loops, and there you have a very gorgeous necklace. Super easy to do. That's one of my favorite ways to use the, this um, chain reaction and the bead strands because the bead strands are already so beautiful that you don't need to take them apart really and, and mix them up and <laughs> dismantle them and do anything with them. They're already in the, the perfect form. So, um, Thank you everyone for stopping by and checking out this little reveal video where I shared these items that Jesse James has sent to me to play with. And I will see you all in the next video. Hope you all had a great day. Talk to you later.